Hi, I'm Nora. I know you don't know me, but pay attention. Because this is the first and last time you're going to hear my voice. So, come closer. Let me tell you a secret. I hate my job! Impression matters. Oh Lord, Nora, you're not helping me. Help me, Nora. What do I wear for the governor's party? Please do something. Zara, just calm down. I'm sure you'll find something. Hmm? So why can't I find anything? I think I need more clothes, Nora. What do you think? Okay, wait. What exactly are you looking for? You know, something befitting for a governor's party. Mm. You know, something in line with Vera Wang. Don't yeah. worry, I'm sure you'll find something. You have so many clothes. What if you pair this with like a top and like anchors? It. Yeah. Uh, I need to you go can wear shopping. this blazer. I don't know, you can wear this blazer with like a black top. No. Um, okay, what about this? You've never worn this one. Okay. I think this is it. Mm -hmm. It looks amazing. This is it, not... Finally. Oh my God. What? I forgot. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, Nora, I forgot. What did you forget? Oh Lord. What did you forget? Zara? Hello, Tom Lopez. Yes, I just got out of the meeting and like half an hour ago. Do what you see necessary. And let me know what you decide. Okay. I've been trying to call you. There's trouble, IK. There's fire. There's trouble. All right. I hear you, but I need you to calm down. Okay? Calm down? Yes. Have you seen the news? Yes, I have, Cassandra. And you're this calm. Remember that one of us has to be the voice of reason. Good for me. Good for me because I'm terrified. I'm ter terrified. He's out. What is it? You're fine. You're fine. I'm the one who did everything to him. I'm the one who stole from him. I'm the one who gave evidence to put him in jail. I'm the one he's going to come after. I.K. I'm terrified. He's going to come after my daughter. He's going to come after me. He's going to come after the company. He's going to come after everything I've built. Cassandra. I'm going to pay him a visit, OK? What? You can't be serious. 
He'll have your head. He'll have both our heads. You stood aside while he was put away. I know that. I... I have an idea. I need you to call Catherine. You need me to call Catherine? Yes. After all these years, for what exactly? Cassandra, what are you planning? Just call her first. IK, call Catherine first. Okay. Oh. I'm I'm doomed. I'm doomed. He's gonna kill me. He won't. Why did you forget my resume for this school? Your resume? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're right. Did I tell you I'll be starting fashion school in France this summer? What? Mm -hmm. This summer? Yes. In about a week or two, you know. Oh, you never told me. I'm so sorry. It skips my mind. Hey. Your resume looks nice. Yeah, I'm sending to this um, fashion company I'll be working with while I'll be schooling in France. That's amazing. I know, right? Like, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Thank you, Nara. That's a delivery guy. Wait, I'm coming. I've got good news and bad news. Okay. And now the good news is my study visa is out, which means I'll be leaving very soon. You know, I'll be doing a whole lot of settling in and all of that. And the bad news is we won't be seen for a very long time. Well, when you leave for school, how do I? What happens to me? I'll pay you today for this month and for next month, okay? I know you're gathering money for school and you know all of that. How how do you plan to to cope when I'm gone? You know, I'd probably just find another job. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. This is not very considerate of me, is it? Okay, fine. I'll make it up to you. My wardrobe is yours. Make a pick. Whatever you want is yours. And besides, I won't be traveling with the majority of it, so yeah. Seriously? Oh my god, thank you, Zara. Welcome. You deserve it. You've been working your ass off. <gasps> Why can I start picking right Anyway, <laughs> leave that red one. Leave that red one. Seeking for the glory, say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. I'm sitting here in this empty room, walls keep tumbling down, down. Cause I ain't got nobody, I always feel so lonely when the day is through. Hi, Mrs. Cassandra. I'm Zara, a fashion enthusiast who has been religiously followed. Hi, Mom. You're back from work. Uh -huh. I can see you preparing really hard for this interview. I am. Baby, I want you to prepare your mind in case you get disqualified because of your qualifications.
Oh, I have a really good feeling this time, Mummy. Oh, yeah? Hmm? Are you okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let me go inside, yeah? Okay, Mary. Okay. Um, you're here for the interview? Yeah, I am. You look gorgeous, by the way. Thank you. I'm Effie. I'm no Zara. Zara. I'm Zara. Zara. Nice to meet you, Zara. Nice to meet you, Effie. Have you written down your name? Am I supposed to write down my name? Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Yes. Sandra. Good, you're here. I need you to see this. We have bigger problems right now. What could be bigger than an ex-convict trying to destroy us? How did this get out? Cassandra, we've hidden from the public long enough. It was a matter of time that this will come out. What now? The board is calling an emergency meeting. They're on their way here. Um, Felix is on his way to your office. Have you seen this, Cassandra? How do you plan to fix it? This has to be the most impressive resume I have seen so far, Zara. Thank you, Ma. Cassandra needs to. Felix is here. He knows? Everyone knows. Um, we'll pick this up later, okay? Thank you, Ma. That resume of yours doesn't cut it in Cassidy Toyo. What? I mean, why? The HOD just said that that is the most impressive resume she has ever seen. People say things, darling, but do not mean everything. The application for internship at Cassidy Toyo has been denied. Has been denied. I mean, you haven't even had a look at it. I mean, just have another look at it, please. Even if I look at it the second time, it still doesn't change the fact that your application will be denied.
Everyone deserves a chance. Why do you deny me mine? You know what? I'll just wait for Miss Tony look back. Good luck with that. Mm -hmm. Never have I seen anyone handle Ivy like that. That was impressive. Handle Ivy? Barely. I'm sad. She deserved it. <laughs> She's the daughter of the CEO of Casa Editorial. There goes your intention. Have you called Catherine? Yes, I have. I called all her numbers, sent emails. She's ignoring them all. Try harder, IK. Okay. Cassandra, do you think she's going to answer us after what we did to her? What about you? Have you called her? Same. I guess she's ignoring both of us then. Which is why I need you to think outside the box. Find a way to communicate with her. So not even you could give me this job. My name is Zara Awolowo. Uh, I'm an ardent follower of yours. I mean, you've been my role model since I was a child. How may I help you? Um, I applied for internship at your company, but then I got rejected. <sighs> Ma, please, have a look at it, please. Please. This is actually impressive. Why did you get rejected? Uh, you, you know, it doesn't matter. Give this to the HOD tomorrow, tell her I personally referred you. Oh my God, thank you so much, Ma, thank you so much. I'm so grateful, Ma, thank you so much. Thank you. I need you to find someone for me. This one has to be priority, okay? Yeah, of course. Your pay will be lucrative. All right. Hi, Wee Wee. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you? 
I'm good, how are you? Fine, how's work? Okay, it's good, it's good. This one, you're you like this. What's going on, eh? What happened? I passed my interview. Interview? <laughs> what interview? <laughs> Is a lie. Is a lie. Oh my god. Are you serious? How did you manage it? It's not me. I mean. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I thought the minimum requirements needed to work at cast editorial as a bachelor's degree. Yeah, but I like I prayed and uh, I just got lucky. Like I just got lucky and I'm so excited. I got lucky, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, congratulations! Thank you. Oh my god, I'm so happy for you. Thank you, Remy. You are actually living on your dreams. I am. And all thanks to your relentless <laughs> spirit. <laughs> I mean, like, my relentlessness played a huge role in me getting this job. If I had given up at any point, I wouldn't have gotten it. Uh, is it not you again? <laughs> Are you a teacher? I would have given up by You know my face. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Well done. Thank you. I'm proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> but that aside, I'm hungry. Yeah. I need food. Uh, yeah. Payments before service. Mm, payers. I told you before, mm. the next time I come here, Rice with milk. Okay. Bring it. Three minutes before service. Mm. Uh, I'm counting you. Ten, six, nine, eight. <laughs> Fast, man. I'm serious. I don't know what to do. Need a sign from above. I just want to be somebody who knows. Knows how to behave, but I'm not even close. Won't you save, 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 save me? Hello, Catherine. Can I speak with you for a minute? Get out. Catherine, all I'm asking for is one minute to have a discussion with you. That's all. And why should I do that? After everything you've done to me. I'm sorry for what happened between us. <laughs> sorry? Sorry? Yeah. Sorry for what exactly? I'm sorry for what Cassandra and I did to you. And I also understand that my apology is coming rather late. But Cassandra and I need you. The company also needs you. The company you and her stole from me? I need you to get out, I can Not until you agree to meet with me. <laughs> Will that get you to leave? Yeah, sure. Then fine. I'm sorry. 
Do you and IK think that an apology will fix everything you've done? No, I don't. But I'm going to make one regardless. Look, we are sisters after all. And I stole something important from you. You are only my sister when it's convenient for you. So tell me, Cassandra, what do you want from me this time? Because I have nothing to give. It's Cass Editorial. It's going under, and I've run out of ideas of how to fix it. And how is that my business? Please. So what exactly do you want me to do, Cassandra? I need you to take over Cass Editorial for a while. At least until it gets back on its feet. And what will you be doing while I'm CEO of Cass Editorial? Figuring things out. You're not telling me the whole truth, are you? I am. Look, how about you give me a response after you've slept on it? <laughs> <laughs> Your audacity baffles me. I know. If you'll excuse me, I have to go relieve myself. Sandra. Why would I see her? Last time I checked, she was with you. Obviously, she's not with me. If not, I wouldn't be looking for her like a mad woman. Catherine, we don't have time, okay? I'll explain later. No. I want to hear it here and now. All right. The board is secretly convening a meeting, and Judy Darrow is intent on acquiring Cass Editorial. This is not my business. It's yours and Cassandra's. You've made that clear over and over again, Catherine. But this is your brainchild that we are talking about. And I know how much you cherish it. And I also know that you will hate yourself if you were to allow Cass Editorial to fall into the hands of a corporate beast like Jude. Cassandra must be somewhere around. You need to find her and tell her. No. We don't have time for this. Later on, we are going to look for Cassandra. But right now, I need you to come with me. Is your hatred for Cassandra much more greater than your own brainchild, Catherine? Is it? Cass Editorial is going bankrupt. And when it does, everyone working there, including your little niece, they are all going down with it. Is that what you want? So what do you want from me, Aiki? Huh? To play Cassandra? Yes. I want you to be the CEO of Cass Editorial and a mother to Ivy. Shit. Catherine, as CEO, I'm going to need you to fight. I need you to fight Judy Darrow. I know how much you detest him. Fight. Why do you have Cassandra's clothes in the car? Catherine. 
Hmm? You promised to board two high-profile clients within a month. See, I can. This plan of yours to play Cassandra, it's not just the doorway from my head. Why don't we go to the police station and tell them what happened so they can find her? And since when did the police ever do their job right? Especially when it comes to the case of missing persons. Going to the police, okay? To go and inform them that Cassandra went missing in a restaurant. It just makes all of us look bad. Is that what you want? You can't question me that way. Just because my sister and I don't see eye to eye does not mean I wish ill on her. All right. All I'm trying to say is, for you to play Cassandra just for a little while, is it that bad? Huh? Until she's found. Is it that bad? Besides, if Ivy doesn't see her mother, she's going to get worried. Ike, I don't think you understand. You want me to play mother to a girl that... I don't know. Absolutely. I know it sounds inconsiderate, but I can help you with that. How? Exactly. I'm going to tutor you on Cassandra's traits. That way, Ivy doesn't suspect a thing. Cool? I'm doing this for Cass Editorial and Ivy. Sure. Ah, uh, will this work, Ike? It will work. I just need you to calm down. Okay? Come on, come on. So, I need you to play Cassandra here at home and at work until she's found. When exactly would that be? Mom? Where have you been? Were you deaf when I said would implode you here? Mom, my name is Nanyola. Is this not your mother and me I'm help? Is this how you help someone? Mom? Is everything alright? Hey. Don't go to jail. Wait. Don't tell me you were planning on scrolling by again without subscribing. That wasn't the plan now. Oh yeah, go down, click subscribe, and click the notification bell. Unless you're tired of seeing our faces. <laughs> Thank you very much. And I know that I was not always around I made you feel, feel alone You spent most of your nights just sitting on your own I should have done so much more Like giving you the things you asked me for And I know I was wrong what I try to tell you with a song Tell you with a song